Flow YouTube. Um, I'm going to start out by saying don't ever try anything you see here at home. Everything we do here is simply and only for educational purposes. Okay, well tonight we're going to do what's called a double decomposition reaction. We're going to take some of the sodium chlorate we made, you know, from the table salt and bleach, and we are going to, we diluted some of the water here. Um, we got a complete saturated solution. You can see that it didn't all dissolve because we still have a little bit on the bottom. That's the uh, sodium chlorate. Over here we have a saturated solution of sodium, I mean potassium chloride. Um, it also has chunks of salt at the bottom just to show that no more uh, salt can get into the liquid at this time. When we mix the two together, what will happen is it will break down the sodium chlorate, adding the uh, ions and so on to the potassium, turning the potassium into potassium chlorate. And this will turn back into regular old-fashioned table salt and water. Try to get right in there so we can get the best look we can. We want to try to focus on this. Now when I add this, hopefully we'll be able to see the uh, essentially sparkles form. What will happen is you will see the salt drop back out of solution. All right. Put the first one in. We don't want to get any of the salt out of the bottom of the jar in there at all. Okay. See, we have nothing in the bottom. Now we are going to add the chloride. And if we're lucky, we'll start to see the salts snow out of solution. There we go. That is a double decomposition reaction. What you are seeing here is the chlor uh, chlorine ion changing places from the sodium to the potassium, causing it to crash out of solution. Well, I'm just going to let this record for a little while so you guys can watch it. See the sparkling as it forms and drops out? If you could actually see it really good, it's really cool looking because each crystal as it forms looks like a little teeny square window pane of glass falling. And this is yet, like I said, one more way to make your potassium chlorate for fireworks or whatever. You can also do this double decomposition using the sodium with a lot of other metal salt solutions. You don't ever want to get this stuff anywhere near ammonium chloride because it will make um, a salt called ammonium chlorate which can go off just simply by the sun touching it, change in temperature, it is, and it can explode. It doesn't need to be mixed with anything. So yes, don't ever get uh, the chlorate salts here anywhere is near ammonia or ammonium salts. You have to do that double uh, decomposition reaction with a completely different salt uh, made a very similar fashion actually made out of this salt and it's called uh, uh, sodium perchlorate or you can do it with potassium 
perchlorate, but you cannot do it um, with a chlorate because like I said, it'll make ammonium uh, chlorate, which is deadly poison, not poison, sorry, which is deadly explosive. It is poisonous as well. Um, but if you use a chlorate to do it, you make what's called AP, which is ammonium perchlorate, which is perfectly fine. But here we used sodium chlorate and a double decomposition to make our potassium chlorate. Well, thanks for watching.